everybody. I'm Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, we went over our patch update what, a couple days ago, and we specified one specific CVE that was closed, but we didn't dive into, uh, I guess, how bad it was. Uh, so it's bad enough that they gave it a name. It's called Bad Neighbor, and basically what it allows the uh, a hacker to do is, or I guess a ne'er-do-well, a no-good nick, uh, is, there, is they're able to basically send an IPv6 advertising packet uh, coded a certain way that allowed them to run code against your machine, uh, which they can easily, within seconds, they could basically cause the blue screen of death on that machine. Uh, so it, it really is, uh, your your network's exposed, no one has to run anything, someone could just run against your machine, so it's it's pretty important we get this one fixed. Uh, if you've been reading some of the blogs out there, they say basically if you can't do the patch, by the way, the patch for this month does fix this. If you can do that now, great. But if you're not able to do it now, uh, you see something like uh, this line here where it's uh, net sh and then a IPv6 and then it specifies uh, the index ID, but there's a not a particular one. It basically says set this setting here to disable. Uh, this is fantastic and it works, but the chances are every machine has more than just one index, and also the index isn't going to be a static thing, so you have to be able to find it. So this works on a single machine if you go through and you find where the index is. Uh, so what we did is we went through a couple ways with our products that you can both find your machines that are not protected or, or need to have this disabled, or and then if they are not, you can use a PDQ deploy to disable it. Uh, so you come in, we're first going to do the collection. We're basically, we're grabbing this command here, basically the interface of all version six, and then for each one, this is where we're grabbing the index. We're building a custom object where basically we're going to grab the index ID as well as uh, the RFC 6106 is the name of it. Uh, and it's just going to tell us basically if it's enabled or disabled. Uh, so I have this command here, one through six. I will put this up on our GitHub repository if I wanted to copy it, but you just want to come into inventory and uh, scan profiles. I named this one bad neighbor for obvious reasons. Same code, I just put it in there, we're running as the scan user in this case. All right, and then you just come in here and you deploy it against, uh, well, we'll just say all the machines, all the computers. So scan collection, bad neighbor. Well, that's scanning. I did pre-run this against Allen Rails, so you can kind of see it comes in here, index five and one, both enabled. So Allen Rails is currently exposed to this uh, because we have not done our patch updates yet. And that's good to know, but how do we go about securing that? Uh, surprising, if, if you know me, I'm gonna use PowerShell to do it. Uh, that's just what I do, I do PowerShell. Uh, this one's gonna look pretty similar for the command. Basically, what this one we're going into, same same start, get net interface. And then for each one, we're doing the same thing. We're looking for RFC 106. And then basically it says, if it is enabled, we run the command that everyone else had where we pipe in or we send through the index for each one for that specific one, and we're setting it to disabled. So it's gonna log on your machine, or not log in, but it's gonna deploy to your machine. It's gonna go to each IPv6 uh, version of that. It's going to see if it's enabled. If it is, it is disabled. So if you're on the scanner first, you have a history of which ones were and were not disabled. So you run this one as disabled, and when it comes time to your <clears throat> red tape's finally passed, you can push the patch, you can re-enable the, uh, the settings, you know which ones were enabled to begin with, you can go set that back to the way it was. This one's a pretty bad one. I, like I said, hopefully you're in a situation where uh, urgency can trump red tape in something that this severe, but if not, at least you now have a way that you can go about and keep yourself safe, you know, until you can make it through that red tape. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.